Welcome to AI Briefing. The content of the briefing includes. First FT, Israel and Hamas agree hostage release deal. Microsoft wants changes at OpenAI after startup sought anthropic merger. OpenAI talks continue as Sam Altman, company pushed to reunite. Before Altman's ouster, OpenAI's board was divided and feuding. Everything you need to know about OpenAI's board. First FT, Israel and Hamas agree hostage release deal. Financial Times. Israel and Hamas have reached an agreement for the release of 50 civilians held hostage in Gaza in exchange for Palestinian prisoners and a four-day ceasefire. Humanitarian aid, including fuel, is to be delivered to Gaza during the pause in hostilities. The hostages will be released in small groups over a four- to five-day period. Hamas will still hold nearly 200 other hostages, including Israeli soldiers and women and children. Israel has said that its objective in the conflict is to bring hostages home safely as well as to destroy Hamas. The deal has been described as a first step. Microsoft wants changes at OpenAI after startup sought anthropic merger. South China Morning Post. Microsoft is in discussions with OpenAI's board to request governance changes to improve the board and prevent the software giant from being caught unaware by strategic moves. The changes are aimed at sorting out governance issues that led the board to fire CEO Sam Altman. Microsoft, OpenAI's biggest investor, is willing to allow Altman to return to the artificial intelligence startup as long as certain criteria are met. Changes being considered include increasing the size of the board and boosting the experience level of members. Microsoft has already required OpenAI's board to seek its approval for a merger, which did not happen when the board sought to merge with rival startup Anthropic. Microsoft has invested $13 billion in OpenAI. OpenAI talks continue as Sam Altman, company pushed to reunite. Wall Street Journal. OpenAI's board of directors, senior leaders and former CEO, Sam Altman, are in discussions to reunify the company after Altman's ousting last week. An internal memo stated that the company's main goal is still to reunify and discussions are ongoing. Altman has made it clear he wants changes to the board and the company's governance structure as part of his return. OpenAI is Microsoft's biggest investor with a 49% stake and Microsoft wants to maintain its access to the company's AI technology and its leaders, Altman and Greg Brockman. Before Altman's ouster, OpenAI's board was divided and feuding. New York Times. Sam Altman, the now ousted CEO of OpenAI, and the company's board had been bickering for over a year before his departure. The tension grew as OpenAI became a mainstream name thanks to its popular ChatGPT chatbot. Altman recently tried to push out a board member because he believed a research paper she co-wrote was critical of the company. Another board member, the company's chief scientist Ilya Sutskever, accused Altman of dishonesty when discussing matters with the board. Meanwhile, the board feared Altman was too focused on growth, while they wanted to balance expansion with AI safety. The dispute highlights the challenge of aligning business people who want to profit from AI with researchers who worry about the technology leading to job losses or posing a threat to humanity. OpenAI's existence is now in doubt, with almost all 800 employees reportedly considering following Altman to Microsoft. OpenAI started as a non-profit in 2015 but shifted to a for-profit entity to raise more funds. Everything you need to know about OpenAI's board. Wall Street Journal. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman was recently ousted by the company's four-member board, leading to an employee revolt. The board claimed that Altman was not being transparent in his communications, and there were concerns about his pursuits outside of OpenAI. Altman wants the entire board gone if he returns, while Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella has called for governance changes at the company. OpenAI's board has lost five members this year, and employees have threatened to resign if Altman is not reinstated. The viral chatbot ChatGPT has more than 100 million weekly active users, and OpenAI's valuation is approaching $90 billion. Few ways to force OpenAI governance changes. Yahoo! OpenAI's board can only be forced to step down or change by judges or state attorneys general, given that OpenAI is a non-profit, according to lawyers. The company's board was put under pressure following the firing of CEO Sam Altman and the subsequent threat by almost all of OpenAI's 700 employees to resign if the board doesn't step down. Nonprofits are good at self-policing to avoid scandal, according to a law professor, but the presence of attorneys general typically gets results. Some investors are considering legal action after Altman's firing, but face hurdles due to OpenAI's bylaws. First FT, Binance chief Chongping Zhao steps down after U.S. guilty plea. Financial Times. Binance CEO Chongping Zhao has resigned after pleading guilty to a U.S. criminal charge of failure to protect against money laundering. 
Binance, the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, has also pleaded guilty to various charges related to money laundering and breaching international financial sanctions. The exchange has agreed to pay more than $4.3 billion in penalties. U.S. authorities accused Binance of failing to report over 100,000 suspicious transactions linked to ransomware attacks, child sexual abuse, hacks, the narcotics trade, and terrorist groups including Al-Qaeda and ISIS. NVIDIA fails to satisfy lofty investor expectations for AI boom. Bloomberg. NVIDIA's latest quarterly revenues beat Wall Street estimates, but still disappointed shareholders. Revenue for the quarter was $18.1 billion, up 279% YOY, with profit at $4.02 per share, beating analysts' predictions of $16 billion and $3.36 per share, respectively. However, despite the positive results, NVIDIA's shares fell as some investors had expected even better performance. The company's shares have risen by 242% this year on the back of investors' hopes that the AI sector will bring significant sales growth. NVIDIA's data center division, which is the star performer, so revenues rise by 279% to $14.5 billion, while the personal computer unit saw an 81% rise to $2.86 billion. The company also released new chips for the Chinese market this week, which could help to revive sales. However, analysts warn that the US government's restrictions on exports to China will begin to have an impact on NVIDIA's sales in the coming months. NVIDIA says growth elsewhere will offset drop in sales to China. Financial Times. NVIDIA has predicted higher than expected sales for Q4, despite a substantial fall in sales to China due to tightened regulations on the export of high performance chips for artificial intelligence AI, applications. NVIDIA expects strong growth in other regions to offset the decline in Chinese sales. The company reported record revenues of $18.1 billion for Q3 a YOY increase of 206%, driven by demand for its high-performance AI chips. NVIDIA's stock price has more than tripled in the past year, increasing its market capitalization to over $1.2 trillion. Tencent eyes China's healthcare sector with social media and AI models. South China Morning Post. Tencent Holdings is testing its artificial intelligence, AI, capabilities in the healthcare sector by integrating social media tools with its in-house language model Hunyuan, according to Alexander Ng president of Tencent Healthcare. The Chinese internet giant is developing industry-specific AI applications for pharmaceutical and healthcare clients such as AstraZeneca. Tencent Healthcare's next-generation engagement suite aims to connect the pharmaceutical industry with doctors in China. Tencent is aiming to change the way China's healthcare market operates by adopting AI, as other major tech firms including Alibaba, Baidu, and Huawei also look to foster digital transformation in various industries. Hong Kong food tech startup challenges Japanese bento market. Financial Times. Hong Kong startup Kamakura Foods is planning to enter the Japanese bento market with a tech platform for serving bentos automatically. The company has sold over 600,000 hot bentos in Hong Kong since 2019 and operates 40 machines in 30 locations across the city. It also has its own kitchen to prepare up to 1,200 Japanese-style bentos a day. Kamakura Foods' first vending machine in Japan will be placed in an outlet of a bento monogatari, a local bento chain in Osaka. The vending machines can serve a bento in 17 seconds and feature multiple bento options for customers to choose from. The company's main focus is on providing a logistics solution for serving hot bentos, including the supply chain between kitchens and vending machines. Kamakura Foods believes that its platform can help local bento shops increase revenue and expand into the dinner market without hiring additional staff. Asia stocks mixed as Nvidia caps sluggish US day, markets wrap. Bloomberg. Asian stocks traded mixed as the US rally stalled and big tech declined. Nvidia Corp fell in late trading after reporting earnings. Mainland Chinese shares fell at the open, while tech stocks in Hong Kong gained, Partially supported by Baidu Incorporated U.S. equity futures edged lower after the Nasdaq 100 index sank 0.6% Tuesday, with Apple Inc., Microsoft Corporation, and Amazon.com Inc. all dropping. OpenAI, Microsoft hit with new author copyright lawsuit over AI training. Reuters. OpenAI and Microsoft are facing a class action lawsuit over allegations that they used the work of nonfiction authors without permission to train their artificial intelligence, AI, models. The lawsuit, filed by author Julian Sancton, claims that OpenAI copied tens of thousands of nonfiction books to teach its language models, including its chatbot ChatGPT, to respond to human text prompts. 
This is the first lawsuit against OpenAI to also name Microsoft as a defendant. The suit seeks monetary damages and a court order to block the alleged copyright infringement. Gwen Stefani tells Niall Horan, I actually feel sick for you right now, as cutthroat the voice playoffs begin. Yahoo! The Voice Season 24 playoffs kicked off Tuesday with Neil Horan's six contestants, and as Neil mentally and emotionally prepared to make some horrendous decisions and slash his team down to just three singer who'd advanced to the live semi-finals, he admitted he was scared. Gwen Stefani, who'll have to make her own tough decisions when the playoffs continue apace next week, even told Neil, I actually feel sick for you right now. Nvidia triples revenue on AI boom but China sales to drop significantly. Nikkei Asia NVIDIA has reported quarterly revenues of $18.12 billion, up 206% YOY, thanks to demand for AI chips. However, the company warned it expects a decline in sales to China, which usually makes up around 20-25% of its data center revenue. The country is suffering due to the US new export restrictions on AI chips, which took effect on November 16. NVIDIA aims to develop new, regulatory-compliant products for the Chinese market and is seeking export licenses for Chinese customers. Microsoft announced this month that it will produce its own AI chips for Azure cloud services. That's all for today's news roundup. Let's recap what we've learned. 1. Israel and Hamas have reached an agreement for the release of hostages in Gaza, marking a first step towards peace. 2. Microsoft is seeking governance changes at OpenAI after the firing of CEO Sam Altman, with discussions ongoing about his potential return. 3. Binance CEO Changping Zhao has resigned after pleading guilty to money laundering charges, and Binance itself has agreed to pay over $4.3 billion in penalties. 4. Nvidia's quarterly revenues exceeded expectations, but the company's shares fell as investors hoped for even stronger performance. The company also expects a significant drop in sales to China due to export restrictions. 5. Tencent is exploring AI applications in the healthcare sector, while Hong Kong startup Kamakura Foods plans to enter the Japanese bento market with a tech platform for serving bentos automatically. 6. In entertainment news, The Voice Season 24 playoffs have begun, and Niall Horan is feeling the pressure. 7. OpenAI and Microsoft are facing a class action lawsuit over allegations of copyright infringement related to training their AI models. Now, let's dive a bit deeper into these stories. The Israel Hamas agreement for the release of hostages is certainly a positive development in the ongoing conflict. It's a small step towards peace and humanitarian aid for Gaza. However, the release of only 50 hostages out of nearly 200 held by Hamas is a reminder that there is still a long way to go. The ultimate goal should be a comprehensive and lasting solution that ensures the safety and well-being of all those involved. The situation at OpenAI has been turbulent lately, with the firing of CEO Sam Altman and subsequent discussions about his potential return. It's clear that there are governance issues that need to be addressed. Microsoft, as the biggest investor, has a vested interest in maintaining its access to OpenAI's AI technology. Ultimately, the future of OpenAI will depend on whether the company can resolve its internal disputes and find a path forward. Binance CEO Changping Zhao stepping down after pleading guilty to money laundering charges is a significant development in the cryptocurrency world. It highlights the challenges and risks associated with the industry, particularly when it comes to regulatory compliance. Binance's agreement to pay over $4.3 billion in penalties shows that authorities are cracking down on money laundering and other illegal activities in the crypto space. NVIDIA's quarterly revenues exceeding expectations is a positive sign for the company, but it's important to note that investors were hoping for even better performance. The drop in share price reflects the high expectations placed on NVIDIA as a leader in the AI sector. The company's prediction of a significant decline in sales to China due to export restrictions is also a cause for concern. It will be interesting to see how NVIDIA adapts to these challenges and continues to innovate in the AI space. Tencent's exploration of AI applications in the healthcare sector is a promising development. The integration of social media tools with its language model Hunyuan could potentially revolutionize the way healthcare operates in China. Other major tech firms, such as Alibaba and Baidu, are also looking to foster digital transformation in various industries. It's clear that AI has the potential to greatly impact the healthcare sector, and it will be interesting to see how Tencent and other companies navigate this space. In the entertainment world, the Voice Season 24 playoffs have kicked off, and the pressure is on for contestants like Niall Horan. The playoffs are always a tense and emotional time, as contestants face tough decisions and the possibility of elimination. It's a reminder of the cutthroat nature of the industry and the challenges faced by aspiring artists. 
The class action lawsuit against OpenAI and Microsoft raises important questions about copyright infringement in the AI field. As AI models are trained on vast amounts of data, it's crucial to ensure that proper permissions and licenses are obtained. This case highlights the legal and ethical considerations that come with developing and using AI technology. Overall, today's news stories touch on a wide range of topics, from geopolitical conflicts to technological advancements. They remind us of the complexities and challenges of our world, but also offer glimpses of hope and progress. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts and join the discussion. What are your ideas and perspectives on these news stories? Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6dobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6Do Brief via email.